Fala, Nick Fans! Beleza? Sou Victor Hatba, aqui do canal Nick Fans Brasil, galera. Hoje vamos trazer de novo, again, nesse canal, Eru, do Die Hard Knicks. Welcome, welcome to the Nick Fans Brasil channel, again, Eru. How you doing? Yeah, happy to be here, man. I love you guys. I watch your channel, you know, you guys speak the Portuguese and stuff, and I, I, I try to pay attention. I try to look up some words that I think I know, you know, and I, I try to follow, and I, I enjoy it, man. I, I like your interviews. Everything that's happening, you guys are doing a great job. Great job here. Uh, thank you, man. You, uh, my American friends so helped me né, in, in our project. Né? So if it, you, very important for us. You and us, so many channels in the United States. Really, man, really. Thank you, thank you so much again for coming in this channel, cara. Yeah, I, I love people, I love when people contact me, ask me for information. If you have a question or like, you know, like software, hardware, or just anything, just just hit me up, ask me, I'll, I'll have a conversation with you. Because it's all about a community, you know? So you got the community so big, the world is big, you got Brazil, you got, you know, uh, <laughs> Germany, you got United States. It's amazing, man. So I, I, I want, I want to be, I want to be help everything connect. You know, everything connect. Uh, and and the rules said once, one time, once time, uh, the language orange and blue. Yes, I remember, man. I remember. That's universal, <laughs> universal language. Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks so much. Bruno, né? Uh, will be a, a, tr a translator, né? This life. Uh, 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 after you leave, né? Bruno translate for Brazilians. Enfim, né? Vamos lá. Let's talk about our team, the New York Knicks. Eru, first question. Uh, well, let's begin about the draft. The draft in this. What's your opinion about the Knicks in this draft, NBA? Eru? Well, for, for me, I, I just feel the Knicks need to they they need to approach the draft and just draft the best player available. I think, you know, uh, everyone's getting excited about making trades and move up, move down, and trade for Donovan Mitchell and trade him the eleventh pick and get this pick. It's it's too that's too complicated, you know. I, you know, I I feel I feel the Knicks can get better, um, so many different ways. They we we can make those trades and this that and the other. But I think it's very important to hold on to to some of these um, pieces that we have because we're we're still building. We have to build the back end with the youth, and we have to while we're still trying to um to build up the the main roster too. So I, I'm all I'm all about um you know just um drafting the best player available. Whoever comes down here, you know we, we should be able to get a nice player, very good player. At 11. Ah, great. Esqueci só de falar para os brasileiros, né? Que eu fui perguntar aqui, ó. A gente acabou de perguntar aqui para o Eru que quais são as opiniões de Eru sobre o draft, meus amigos brasileiros. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Me desculpe, meus amigos brasileiros. Enfim, ó. Eru, but, assim, é, quais são os jogadores, né, que você acha mais interessante e possíveis na pick 11 e quais dessas desses jogadores você mais gosta e por quê? In English for you. Uh, which players are the most interesting and possible in pick 11 and which ones do you like the most and why? Well, in this draft, I feel like I feel there's at least six players that are, are almost they're, they're very close six guards they're very very close in talent so i feel like the the knicks they, they, they're in play for getting a guy like shaden sharp uh you know dyson daniels uh maturin you know uh what was this guy's name uh johnny davis uh so many players uh branham uh there's so many ty ty washington all, all of these players are very close they're very close so I think as as the draft goes on, we'll um you know we'll we'll see what other teams are interested in, and then someone will fall to the Knicks. And I, I think whoever falls, I think the Knicks will be fine. You know some some draft spot uh, sites they have us drafting um Johnny Davis. Some draft sites have us um drafting Branham. You know even the center Mark Mark Williams. You know things of things of that nature. 
But, um, you know, I, I'm just with getting the best player available. You know, and I'm also interested in some guys that people aren't talking about. Let's say, like, Asimain Dang. You know, I kinda, I'm kind i interested in him. Uh, Nik Nikola Jovic, he's interesting. You know, it's, there's quite a few players that are, that are pretty interesting. So, I, I'm, you know, I'm happy. I'm happy for whatever the, the Knicks decide to do. I heard uh, the, mo the most uh, options né, uh, from Dyson Daniels, uh, Malachi Bra Brahan, and Tai Tai Washington. Uh, actually, uh, these players, uh, it's very close in PK11, in your opinion, or not? In this moment, in this moment. Yeah, I believe, I believe they're all equal. You know, so like when when they give the interviews, they talk to the coaches and get their personality. I think they I think the most important thing, the Knicks have to get a player that's going to match uh, our current player's personality. Like uh, Emmanuel quickly. He's very strong. Obi Toppin is very strong, you know, mentally, you know, you yes. know we need to you know, RJ Barrett, too. We, we need to get personalities that match that way. That way, these guys, um, it, it, it won't be such of a battle. When these guys are trying to, uh, you know, actively trying to win together in the locker room and things of that nature, and on the court, we need to get the personalities that that match each other. I think that's important. Uh, Eru, uh, in this draft, Knicks uh, really super super needs a PG, but uh, in this draft, it's a uh, good centers. Uh, I see, uh, uh, for example. Um, Mark Williams uh, from Duke, uh, Jalen Duran uh, from Memphis Tigers. Uh, uh, what do you think about these guys? And uh, uh, and the center uh, or RPG in this draft? Well, in this draft, there's there's not too many point guards in this draft. You know, like uh, Ty 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 Washington to me. He's very he's very similar to some of the shooting guards like Johnny Davis. They're very similar. He, he's not really yes. like a distributor, you know, like that, that, uh -huh. that you're looking for. Uh, as far as the centers, uh, Mark Williams, he's very tall. He's tough. You know, uh, the uh, the other guy, uh, he, you know, what's his name? The uh, there's a few of them. Mark Mark Kessler from Auburn. He's pretty he's pretty good too. You know, Mark Williams, uh, Jalen Duran. He's pretty tough, athletic and stuff. So it, the most important thing that uh, is just the personality. If if the Knicks choose to to draft Mark Williams, they have to make the decision whether or not he's uh, mentally tough, leadership wise, yes. able to talk and and communicate with the rest of the roster. That way, there's no fighting behind the scenes. Everybody is fighting for the same thing. That, that, that's the most uh, important thing. Uh, and Eru, uh, do you believe uh, the Knicks uh, first in Portuguese? Sorry. É, Eru, você acredita que o Knicks irá é, trocar e mover é, nesse draft uh, junto com os Kings, que são a posição número 4, para tentar conseguir pegar Jaden Ivey na, nessa, nessa posição? In English for you. Uh, do you believe the Knicks will, will trade to move up uh, in the, this draft to, to the Kings pick 4, where Jaden Ivey will be likely be? Well, you know, Sacramento, they're a little like, eh. you know, the, the, uh -huh. everyone, everyone says the Knicks are bad. Sacramento's bad. <laughs> Sacramento's <laughs> been bad a long time since Chris Webber, you know. So, uh, you know, right now they have veterans there. They have, um, uh, you know, uh, what's his name from um, Indiana? Uh, the big, The big man from Indiana? Can't get his name. Well, I mean, you know, they have veterans there, so you know they, they need to make a trade, and um and try to build up that way. Maybe maybe they might want to make a trade to build up that way. So, you know, uh, you know, I, I think it's possible to move up if, if we if we give them draft picks, or maybe if they're interested in the Fournier, or if they're interested in somebody something like that. Maybe maybe we can move up. Uh, you know, Julius Randle. You know, they they already um picked up. Uh, Sabonis, I'm sorry, Dem Demona Simonis. Thank you, Bruno. <laughs> you know, Demona Simonis, they just traded for him. So, you know, it doesn't make sense for them to go for, uh, you know, Julius Randle, you know, but yes. uh, so maybe a Fournier or something like that. If you add a Fournier with Walker and then add maybe a draft pick or so, uh, maybe they'll be interested in doing something like that. But, you know, the, the chances of that happening is very slim for, for the Knicks, you know, uh, with, with Sacramento. So I, I think Sacramento probably will just draft Jaden Ivey. 
You know, I, th I uh, think they draft him. I, I uh, Eru, I heard so much uh, the Knicks uh, in interesting in uh, super super interesting uh, in Jaden Ivey, nah. Uh, because my question is is just just uh, for the interesting uh, that I heard from the Knicks. Uh, it's really uh, the the rumors about the this this player the this interesting from the Knicks. Yeah, he's um yeah, everybody's talking about him. What what's um very important about him is is his mother. His mother played basketball, um single mom, uh when when she was coaching and when she was playing, play, when she was playing a, as a player in college and then when she went on to coach, uh Jaden Ivy was a little boy. So he uh, was always around basketball, so you know, everyone loves him and then, you know, he just he just was born to play basketball, always around the game. So he's he's going to be a special kid, special player. So you know, I, I'm looking at him to be like uh, almost like a Dwayne Wade kind of, you know, on that, on maybe possibly on that level, maybe a uh, uh, Donovan Mitchell on that level coming into the league. I think he might be special. You know, I don't, I don't know about 20 points a game or something like that, but I think coming into the league, I think he'll be ready and maybe 14, 15 points a game. And he's going to be, eventually he'll be, he'll become a star, I believe. Jaden Ivey, uh, I hear, né, uh, is the like the same uh, a little uh, uh comparison with uh uh ja, ja do yeah. you do you agree do you agree uh in this point yeah. because uh i hear uh um jaden ivy uh, uh, not so good in pass uh compared uh with uh ja, ja Mora, for example well it's ferocity they have they're very they're they're ferocious you know, so when, when he gets the when he um, when he's off the court, he's a nice man, nice little nice boy. You know, but when he gets on the court, he's a like a monster, <laughs> savage monster. So you know, so the hurry. Has, yeah, yeah, he's a tremendous confidence in the in the in the kid. You know, so I I, th I think he's gonna be he's I don't know if he's gonna well I mean you know say like a Jada uh you know uh, a Ja Morant uh, he he started off on a certain level. I, I think when when Jaden Ivy comes in, he'll probably be at the same level. Like I said, fourteen points. You know, maybe like three assists. You know, you know, you know, three rebounds, that type of thing. And then he's going to graduate, you know, just the same way John Morant did. You know, over the All next right. couple of years. Ah, great, great. Uh, I'm curious, Eru. Uh, let's talk in, first in Portuguese. Uh, Eru, eu gostaria de falar agora com você sobre um jogador que olha. Fiz uh, duas lives aí que o pessoal adorou e na internet tá um furduns, principalmente nas Filipinas. Kai Soto. Let's talk, Eru, uh, about Kai Soto. What do you think about Kai Soto, Eru? Well, it's 2022. So it's not fair for centers. It's not fair. Because uh, let's say 2012, maybe 2010, Kai Soto would be lottery pick. He would be a lottery pick, you know? Yes, yes. So I, I think I, I feel bad for the centers because everyone wants them to shoot three-pointers and they want them to pass. They want them to dribble and stuff. But the centers, their job, you know, traditionally, is to score on the inside, you know? And I think I think Kai Soto, he can mix it up. He can do a lot of different things. So so Kai Soto, he reminds me of, um, you know, a lot. he reminds me of everybody. He, he has a little bit of Ewing in him. He reminds me of Ewing a little bit. He reminds me of uh, Brad Daugherty, you know, even sometimes, um, you know, like, like, they, like they say, uh, Yao Ming, you know, that type of thing. He reminds me of those players where he can shoot it. You know, he could put the ball on the floor. He can turn around and post you up, you know, you know, big man dunking mm -hmm. on you. And and then yes. he, can, he can do like everybody else. He can go to the three point line and he can shoot the three pretty good, too. You know, so I think I think he's a special player, but it's 2022. So, you know, I don't know where he's going to go. Some drafts have him in the second round. Some drafts don't even have him at all. You know, so it's, it's, his name is going to be very interesting. You know, I, I would love to have him on the Knicks. Philippines uh, loves this guy, loves. In internet, I, I, I see this uh, in our videos uh, and videos, uh, still Knicks fans, not but Knicks, and uh, so many channels uh, when talk about Kai Soto. Philippines love this man. Uh, I, I, I see in, in a journal, uh, uh, for example, 
uh, Cole, uh, Caisoto, Denil, uh, Karim Abdul-Jabá, or <laughs> Neil Yao Ming from the Philippines. What do you think about this? Uh, this this um, this hype, this this new new sensation about this guy. Well, it's, from uh, their, well, from, from what's their your opinion? Yeah, from their perspective yes. in Philadelphia, I mean, excuse me, in the Philippines, and their perspective is that that he is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Because if he gets drafted, I believe he'll be the first Filipino, right? He'll be the first Filipino in the NBA, I, I think. You know, so I think that's that's important. You know, so he, you know, so it's a it's a big thing over there that the, the hype that he has. But he, he um he speaks English. I I think he speaks English well. You know, he has a great per like a, he has a fun personality. Uh, he's also not afraid. You know, he's he's um ferocious. You know, he can be physical and stuff like that. So you know, uh, over there, there's there's a lot of people over there. A lot of people are really close to each other. So um he's used to um crowds. He's used to uh you know just um fanfare people love him he's used to it so if he comes to the united states uh you know i, I don't think he'll have a problem with that you know so i think i think he should he would he probably would be, would, would come into the nba and probably you know uh shock a lot of people you know in my, in uh -huh. my opinion because i love big men you know so i want the nba to go back to the big men you know let, 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 let's get back to playing on the inside you know get back to post-ups and, and things like that. So I'm, I'm hoping that with guys like, um, you know, uh, the Williams, uh, what's his name? Uh, Mark Williams and, and these guys. And I, I hope that the NBA comes back to more strong centers, you know, and I, yes. I think I Soto could lead the way. Ah, great. O início, né, do vídeo, o, o Eru gentilmente, né, já falou para todos, né, que é sempre um prazer estar no Nick Fans Brasil que até assiste algumas lives e vídeos do canal, tentando identificar até as palavras em português, para saber o que significa em inglês, e algumas que ele reconhece, né? E, e que é muito legal esse trabalho que a gente está fazendo aqui com o Nick Fans Brasil. Inicialmente, né, na pergunta sobre o draft, uh, o Eru disse que gente, o que a, o Nick precisa já de cara, que a gente tem que imaginar que, que precisa conseguir o melhor talento que for possível, né, no, nesse draft, afinal de contas o Nick está nessa, nessa construção aí com, com esses jovens e etc, né, inicialmente, então, quando eu pergunto sobre o draft, inicialmente ele fala sobre isso, né. Ele acredita, né, que nesse draft seis jogadores, né, estão mais próximos, né, do, pro Nick nessa pick 11 na opinião dele. No caso, né, seis é, point guards, né, guards que podem ser interessantes para o Knicks. Dyson Daniels, Maturin, Johnny Davis, entre vários jogadores. Malakai Brehan, Tai Tai Washington, todos esses jogadores muito próximos. E até em, em alguns mocks, né, pela internet, por exemplo, alguns apontam, né, que o mais próximo seria Johnny Davis, em outros mocks, é, Malakai Brahan, e até mesmo centers, como, por exemplo, Mark Williams, que é um center de Duke, né. Ele comenta sobre Ice Menden, Nikola Jovic, que também ele acha interessante, que poderia ficar feliz com qualquer um desses, né? E que o mais importante, como ele está dizendo, é o melhor talento possível, né? E até faço uma pergunta, né, sobre alguns jogadores, né, que estão sendo apontados como mais próximos né, da PIC 11, mas ele comenta que, na opinião dele, todos estão mais ou menos numa pé de igualdade, né, por tudo que é dito nos Estados Unidos. E que uma das questões mais importantes é que, que ache um jogador que dê a entre os jogadores, questões de se dar bem, formar uma equipe legal e conseguir criar um conjunto, né? E até quando eu pergunto sobre os centers, né? Que, que eu, no caso, no canal tenho falado muito bem, que é o Mark Williams de Duke e Jalen Duran do Memphis Tigers, o Eru é, chega, inclusive, também né, a elogiar qualidades físicas, né, e atributos técnicos dos dois jogadores, né, 
mas ele também destaca que o mais importante é a questão da mentalidade e esses jogadores estarem abraçados com a ideia do conjunto, com a ideia da filosofia do time, né? caso eles entrem no New York Knicks. A próxima pergunta que eu faço né, é sobre se o, o Knicks né, uh, tem a possibilidade de negociar PIC 4 com o Sacramento Kings. E, e o Eru é, começa a resposta né, já brincando, que se você acha que o Knicks tem mais decisões no, no draft, o Kings é pior, digamos assim. Ele, é, ele até comenta né, que poderia até haver o um interesse, etc. Mas eu acho que, por tudo que eu ouvi dele, que eu acho que é muito difícil. Né? Ele até comentou, de repente, colocar jogadores é, na, na negociação, como Fournier, Randall, <coughs> é, Kemba e, de repente, é, é, Pix. Poderia até ser atrativo e tentar fazer uma troca, de repente envolvendo sabones para nós, ou só pela PIC. Então, seria dif... mas pelo que eu entendi, seria uma coisa que não seria tão simples assim. E aí, eu ressalto, né, sobre... perguntando né, sobre se esse... esse interesse é real dos Knicks, ele afirma que sim, que Jaden Ivey é um garoto especial, que ele, a própria mãe dele, né, é, jogava basquete, depois virou técnica E ele, digamos assim, meio que nasceu nesse meio E meio que nasceu mesmo, sabe? Como se fosse predestinado para jogar basquete E até comento, né? Que alguns falam, né? Que ele lembra um pouco o estilo do Jamoran e tal Mas que alguns falaram que ele não era tão bom passador Mas ele, daí ele chegou, ressaltou mais algumas qualidades Falou, inclusive, que ele, por exemplo, até fora da, da quadra Pode ser até mais de calma, etc, mas que dentro de quadra ele é, tem uma voracidade enorme, uma questão de explosão e etc, e que em vários pontos ele realmente, pelo que eu entendi, né, ele tem um, um não digo um pé de igualdade, né, mas é um nível muito bom, tanto quanto o Jamoran, por exemplo, e que pode é, ser muito especial na liga, né. A próxima pergunta, né, eu fiz sobre Caisoto, né, que tem sido um fenômeno das Filipinas, né, e, e que ele chega a ressaltar, né, que esse draft até não é tão bom assim para os centers, mas o Caisoto tem vários diferenciais, é, como mobilidade, altura, chuta de três pontos, uma boa agilidade, várias, várias características aí que, que podem ser interessantes, sabe, é, chutar de três pontos, e pode ser bem interessante esse jogador, e que pode ser, né, um, um jogador especial, né, ele chegou até a fazer algumas comparações, né, como por exemplo, ele pode até ser comparado um pouco inicialmente ao Yao Ming, né, uh, mas é difícil saber onde que ele vai chegar, porque em alguns mocks ele está é, cotado em, em segundo round, e em outros ele está nem cotado, está fora. Que seu nome realmente é muito interessante. E que de repente eu adoraria ter ele no Knicks, né? Pelas características, né? E até a gente fala né, sobre esse, esse hype todo em cima do Caissoto, que ele diz que é justificável, afinal de contas pode ser o primeiro filipino aqui na, nascido né, nas Filipinas a jogar na NBA, que existe todo esse hype, que o cara sabe falar inglês, que o cara sabe é, ser carismático, que, a, que o país abraçou todo esse jogador, que de repente ele torce né, que para esse tipo de coisa possa acontecer, porque ele, ele, ele gosta muito da característica do jogo dentro do garrafão, e que de repente jogadores como ele, Mark Williams, é, jogadores mais altos, mais fortes, pode fazer com que o jogo volte a centralizar diferente né, do que é atualmente. Né? E que é, ele pode ser um, um jogador que pode chocar muita gente por não conhecer e tal. E por tudo que eu entendi, realmente torce para que é, Kai Soto entre na liga. Né? E por tudo que eu entendi também, quem sabe nos Knicks, né, galera? E eu também particularmente gostei muito de Kai Soto. E aí, pessoal? Este foi mais um vídeo aqui no canal Nick Fans Brasil. Espero que vocês tenham gostado, né? E como é de praxe, pessoal, você, você mesmo que está assistindo pela primeira vez, 
o canal Unifins Brasil, não se esqueça de se inscrever, se inscreva aqui no canal Unifins Brasil, não esqueça, né, você que já é inscrito, de ativar o sininho para notificação de novos vídeos e também sempre deixar o seu like, um comentário, compartilhar com os amigos, por que não, para ajudar com que o canal Nick Fans Brasil chegue cada vez em mais e mais pessoas, pessoal. Beleza? Conto com a ajuda de vocês, Nick Fans. Um abraço! I do, are you down with the orange and the blue? I'm a Nick fan, I'm a Nick fan, I'm down with the orange and the blue.